a vivid scene of a defining film. The intense, dark plot of global hit Old Boy is typical of Park Chan-wook's work. Graduating with a philosophy degree, Park first worked as a film critic and endured early flops as a director. His career took off in 2001 with Joint Security Area, a thriller set on the border between North and South Korea. It broke all box office records in South Korea. With his new clout, Park embarked on the so-called Vengeance Trilogy with Quentin Tarantino, an early champion. Old Boy, the second of the series, won a prize at the Cannes Film Festival, at which Tarantino was president of the jury. The final installment of the trilogy, Lady Vengeance, is currently being remade with Charlize Theron in the head role. Park's latest release, I'm a Cyborg, is lighter fare than usual, focusing on an unconventional love story. We meet at an industry event in Seoul, celebrating leading figures in Korean cinema. Chan, welcome to Talk Asia. Let's first of all talk about your most acclaimed work to date, which would be Old Boy. It's a pretty twisted film. Talk to us about making it. Actually, I took the story for the movie from a Japanese comic. At first, when I heard the story, it was about a person who was thrown into the middle of nowhere without knowing why he was there or how long he would have to stay. I was attracted by this setting. This, for me, was a significant depiction of the condition of human beings. Aren't we all born to this earth without a reason? And we also don't know when we're going to die. I was attracted to this idea for the movie. You know, on the surface, you seem like such a normal guy, but your movies are really creepy and dark and ultra-violent. So level with me here. Is that the real you deep down? I have heard that most directors who make dark and violent movies are pretty much normal in their daily lives. This has been the tradition ever since Hitchcock, and most of the directors of the darkest, most grotesque movies are basically normal people. Personally, I think that my normality and the fact that I grew up in a very average environment made me grow tired of it all and make movies to escape the monotony because I was so bored. At the time, it was the highest ever grossing film in South Korea. Why did that topic capture your imagination and that of audiences here? At that time, South Korea had become a democracy and a climate where the biggest taboo in Korean history, the problem of North Korea, could be discussed freely, was formed for the very first time. For the first time after the war in the 1950s, this became possible. But no one really came out and really talked about it. So although we were at a point where we were a democracy, the makers of the film and also myself talked amongst ourselves that going to jail for breaking the national safety code was a real possibility and prepared ourselves for it. We never did, but I wanted to show that North Koreans were people just like us. A lot of courage was needed to show an obvious fact that North Koreans are not demons or monsters. I believe that the success of the movie came from the hate of both Koreas and the sadness that came with it from the years of separation. So Hollywood these days seems to have this fascination with remaking Asian films. I mean, the South Korean movies that are being redone um, or have been are you know, Chaser, Seven Days, Host. Why do you think South Korean plot lines travel so well? I think that's their job, and I'm curious as well as to why they want to buy so many Korean movies. Korean movies, I think, are just right. They have the right framework for the public, and they have genres. They have universality, and genres have similar conventions in all countries. And movies that don't go far from this frame can be placed in different environments and be made over again. At the same time, they have a newness that is added to these conventions and add new form and character. Sympathy for Lady Vengeance is also being remade with Charlize Theron in the lead role. What do you think of that particular bit of casting? It's a great thing. I went to Los Angeles and visited her there. As I was when I saw Theron in her movies. I was captivated and I could feel through my skin her passion for acting, as was portrayed in the movie Monster. She was not a person who flaunted herself in pretty clothes. I had never met such a smart and passionate actress before. She told me she had seen Lady Vengeance over ten times. And when she asked me questions on the details of the movie, and I'm not exaggerating, her comments were sharper and smarter than the critics, and I was greatly surprised.
Chanwick, what we're looking at here is the storyboard for your new movie, Thirst. What's it about? It's a vampire movie about a man who gets the wrong blood transfusion and becomes a vampire against his will. He's a devout Catholic and feels great pain from knowing that he must kill others to survive and falls in love with a woman. The movie shows an inappropriate relationship, an affair between the vampire and this married woman, but it can also be called a love story.